Healthy people do not have a need for Satan. I think we're going to hear a very different perspective from Annie Lobert now. Hi, I'm Annie Lobert, and I have a ministry called Hookers for Jesus. And as you probably don't know or do know, I am a former escort, prostitute, stripper, what have you. I came to Las Vegas to seek fame, fortune, and materialism. I was actually seeking a college degree, compromised my integrity because I wanted something that I saw others have. I was very empty inside. I was very unloved. I hated myself. And my own feelings you know, of not feeling love because God is love and I didn't realize it. I went to Sunday school. I was in a denomination where I was taught that God was angry at every, anything that we would do that was wrong. And I veered off towards the angry side because I didn't understand God and I was afraid of God because I had a lot of issues going on with um, my family life and my personal life in school. And so I ran from my problems and I went to Vegas because I thought having what the world showed us on MTV and pop culture and all the magazines would cure that feeling inside me and take it away. And for a couple of years, it was really fun. I, I had a blast. I had Mercedes. I had, you know, any kind of diamonds I wanted to wear. I had nice houses. I was living the life. I had a pimp. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. And as I continued to get raped and beat up by my pimp and treated bad by my clients, slapped, put in trunks, kidnapped, I faced death, I can't even count how many times. And I lived this lifestyle for 16 years. I saw 10 of my friends die. And there night came in my life where I faced death. I OD'd on cocaine because I hated myself. And I kept hearing voices to tell me to kill myself. There was no reason to go on. And I know that wasn't coming from inside of me. There was a diabolical force speaking to me. And I truly believe it was the devil and his demons. And the devil almost got my life. And that night, I made myself real to God, and I asked him to come into my heart and save me. Save me from him, myself, and the bad decisions I had made. And he did. And now I reach out to prostitutes. And I do believe the devil is real, and it's what's controlling them, and it's what's making them trapped in the industry. And I'm here to tell the truth tonight. Thank you. Welcome. Carlton Pearson. Very touching story, um, deeply touching to me, and it's awkward for me to be here tonight because I'm from a, a uh, four generations of demon caster outers. Um, I had tremendous faith in the devil, in his, in his power, in his omnipresence, in his omniscience, this faceless, ubiquitous, hairy, horny in my imagination, uh, hoofed, fanged beast that was a nemesis to God, but I couldn't see it or him. I've heard that it's also she. Um, if I saw a press prostitute, that would have been the devil. Um, and I would cast the devil out of her, and I have, with them frothing and writhing on the floor. But here's why I cast the devil out of them. First, I believed in the devil. Enough, and in demons. If, I, if it wasn't the devil, it was one of his legions. He had billions of demons all over the world. And a lot of them were in my church. My mom and dad, their parents, we believed in it, and we inculcated it, and we cultured it, and we, we navigated it, and we investigated it, and we interrogated it. And we, I, it was almost like a form of devil worship. I wouldn't have called it that. So when that thing manifested that I had invented, and people invent them, I cast it out. When people come to me who are demon-possessed, I know what they're thinking. So I went there. But I don't actually believe. I've been thinking, well, maybe I invented that. Maybe I called it into being. Because I've never seen the devil. I haven't really seen God. I just believe. And it's interesting that we have as much faith in the devil. In fact, it's an article of the Christian faith almost anymore. Christians will sometimes uh, defend the devil more than they will God. So anyway... Um, I, I have reassessed all that, and I think that the best way to get people free is to get them to stop believing so much in this hairy, horny, freaky, scary, omnipresent entity 
And it will not manifest the way we have believed it to. And that will bring a, an element of peace, the psychosis, the pathological fear that many people have in all the religious faiths, not just Christianity, but Hindu, uh, Judaism, and, and particularly the Abrahamic faiths, Judaism, Islam, and Christianity. We really believe in that. We call them the great Satan, they call us the great Satan, and we drop bombs on each other. Because we so believe in the Satan, we're trying to kill it by dropping bombs on countries and cultures. And I think Jesus would not support that.